Upon surveying the destruction, Leighton, Emmy, and Luke get a hotel room in North LA as their base. The group decides it would be smart to scout the area surrounding the hotel. Good morning everybody, it's Minute and Beyond, welcoming you back to the world of Professor Leighton and the Last Spectre. We seem to have wandered rather far from the hotel. Perhaps we should go back now. Yeah, I'm getting a bit hungry. Now that you mention it, I'm a bit peckish myself. We did a healthy walk-in. Shall we swing by the cafe? That was back over on Pike Lane. Never face a spectre on an empty stomach. Oh, now we can have stuff at the cafe. Okay, now we have to make our way all the way back over there, though. Hey, look who it is. Hey, we meet again! Bucky, I thought you were here at the Grand Bridge. The Grand Bridge? I'm at every bridge. See boat, see Bucky, that's what I always say. I've been serving the canal needs of my customers for a decade. Smell boat, smell Bucky. I'll be sure to keep that in mind. My boats are all ship shape, and my ships are boat shape. Hilarious. <laughs> the Central Pier is now open. Get on board for a tour of our lovely tree lined waterways. If you want to ride, Bucky has some great boats here. So now we have the ability to do a little bit of transportating. Transportating, transporting, transportationing. We can move around a bit. And it's very convenient. But not when you're trying to find every single puzzle, because you might gloss over some by doing this, so be careful. Also, you might just get lost, like me, and now I'm just like, where the fruit am I? I don't know. Uh, maybe this way? Maybe. Uh, and then I move the boot again, and it drives me slightly in insane. Go over here. Okay, this is looking a bit more familiar. Uh, this is where we found the guy with the cat. That's High Yard Hall. Shall we take a look? Let's just focus on North LA for now. Okay, I guess we can't go there yet. Uh, now we're all the way back where Bucky was. Great. Oh, wait, 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 get the mouse. So, the mouse badges. We still didn't figure out what to do with these. We, I thought that was going to be for the cat, but apparently not. There we go. Welcome to Paddy's Place! Our oh, diner special tonight is a succulent leg of a lamb glazed with a herb of infused olive oil. Served in orange sauce with a cabbage and a crispy potatoes. It's a winner for dinner that will make you a thinner. Let's sit down. Mmm, that lamb smells so good. Really, really good. Emmy, your mouth is open. You got a little drool on your shirt, Luke. You doing okay? Yes, lamb. I mean, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I, I thank you. I'm potato. <laughs> what the fruit? Professor, I think we better get Luke some food. I'm potato. Let's grab a quick bite here and return to the hotel. Table for three, right this way. Ugh, I'm so full, I can barely see. Haha, <laughs> yes, that was quite a feast. Unfortunately, we should roll ourselves back to the hotel. I can't wait to get a good look at that spectre. You make it sound like this is some sort of game, Emmy. Oh, she didn't mean to make light of the situation, Luke. Let's go. Guess that's it for now. No after-dinner puzzlement, I guess. Place is really is. Oh, this place is really packed. Well, okay. What did you say before? He was saying, I'd almost forgotten what customers looked like. Everyone is so concerned with the Spectre. Okay. So he's just happy he had a customer. Good to know. And it's suddenly dark out! Oh no! The fog is getting thicker. Does this mean the Spectre is close? Quickly, let's get back to the hotel. If he'll let us. Move along, there's nothing to see here. Not yet, anyway. Spectre should be here any minute, though. They've blocked off the way to the hotel. It seems that they are still evacuating some residents from the area. Let's just stay calm and find another way back to the hotel. Perhaps that other pathway we were trying to go before? Ugh, this is getting pretty intense. You ought to leave this area! An angry rector is on the loose! Sure. Head this way. I'm not even gonna bother talking to this guy. I assume everyone's just going to be saying the same thing, be like, Run for your lives! Run for the hills! Professor, look over there! Someone is still in the area! I like how we didn't even address the other guy, so she's like, even amused, okay, we'll just be like, yeah, we can just leave that other guy there. 
Oh, this guy's a puzzle for us, though. I thought everyone had been evacuated. The Spectre will be here soon. It will be dangerous. Please evacuate quickly. No, I refuse. I'm not moving another inch. I bravely packed all of my family's belongings, but my impertinent son still called me a coward. I don't intend to do a thing for such an ungrateful son. Please don't worry about the trifling fights for right now. You must get to safety, sir. You're only hurting yourself by staying behind. Please, sir, don't be so childish. Trifling? Childish? Well, if you're so mature and serious, then maybe you could solve this puzzle. If you solve it, I'll be happy to leave, but not until then. Hmm. That doesn't make sense, but whatever. Number 21. Foggy numbers. The fog made this sign impossible to read. While the townsfolk can't recall the exact order in which the numbers appear, they do remember the following. Each number from 1 to 9 appears once. 5 is between two larger numbers. 3 is between two smaller numbers. 7 is between two larger numbers. The first number is 9 and the last number is 1. Use the clues to put the numbers in the correct order. Hit number 1. The first number is definitely 9. Take a look at the fourth piece of information provided by the townsfolk. That will give you a big clue towards figuring out the first three digits. Hit number 2. The last number is definitely 1. Apply the same logic that was used in hint 1 to the last three digits. Is it all starting to become clear? Hint number 3. The first number is 9. Since 7 should be between two larger numbers, logic dictates that the first three numbers are 9, 7, and 8. Similarly, the last number is 1. Since 3 should be between two smaller numbers, the last three numbers are 2, 3, and 1. Super hint! If you uh, if you follow the previous hints, only the three numbers in the middle should remain a mystery. There's only one possible formation in which the number 5 will appear between two larger numbers. The remaining three are 5, 6, and 4. So the solution is 9, 7, 8, 5, 6, 4, 2, 3, one. I think I've got this one. That puzzle was no problem. Mystery solved. Her, her, her. Even in the face of danger, there's always time for puns and puzzles. And more fish mini games. You got it. I didn't think anyone would solve that. Now, now, you promise, sir. It's time to leave the area. Oh, very well. I don't want to, but a promise is a promise. I'll go. That's a lovely hat, by the way. But I'm not scared of any spectre. You tell everyone I'm not a coward. He just needed an excuse to leave with his pride intact. Everyone is motivated by something different. What motivates you, Professor? Aha. Uh -huh. Sometimes I wonder that exactly myself, Emmy. At any rate, the townspeople seem to have been evacuated safely. Let's get back to the hotel. By the way, uh, speaking of the fish, I went back to my original save file to see what the name of the fish was called. I don't know. It's got a name? I have a feeling I know where it's from, but it makes no sense, and if I try to explain it, I'm just gonna sound like a fool, so I'm just gonna leave you with the mystery of wondering what the fruit the fish's name was. It was... Weird. I was not expecting that to be the name of it. <laughs> I guess I was just in a mood that day. Well, here we are. Let's get inside the hotel quickly before the specter appears. What's that? What's the matter, Luke? The specter is trying to destroy this town. It could also destroy this hotel. Well, that's uplifting. Wait, Luke, is that another prediction? I don't know. Would you like us to take you home, Luke? No, if I went home, I would have to see my father. Luke, you're here because you wanted to see the Spectre, right? Th that's right. As the one who predicts the Spectre's appearance, I have to be there. I would agree. Everything will be fine. You'll be safe no matter what happens, I promise. Thank you, Mr. Layton. Aren't you going to reassure me too, Professor? Haha, <laughs> yes, of course, Emmy. You'll be safe as well. Now, let's all head inside together. Guess all we could do is wait now. The Spectre will be soon approaching. 
Oh, what might you folks be doing at this hour? You should retire for the night. I should too. I'm afraid our night is just beginning. We're going to be up until the Spectre appears. This Spectre better show. Well, what do you think, Luke? Do you see anything yet? No, nothing. <sighs> I'm still having a tough time buying all of this. It sounds like some scary bedtime story. Is this even possible? Well, we'll soon find out. And a poor little boy who predicts where the giant specter will appear. <sighs> so what now? I mean, what if this thing never even shows up? Uh, hmm? What is... what on earth could that be? It sounds like... it sounds like music! <gasps> uh, the flute! It must be! <gasps> Quickly! To the window! <gasps> Can this be? Spectre. <gasps> oh! 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 I told you, this is it. The world is ending. Let's go. Oh. No, please. You can't go out there. Luke. Where is that coming from? Luke, listen. We must keep a clear head at times like this. Do you understand? Uh -huh. We can only uncover the truth if we stay calm and remain rational. Do you think you can do that for me? Hmm. Wow, I've never seen this fog this thick before, not even in London. It's one of the Spectre's powers, one of its many terrible powers. Let's not worry about that for right now, okay, Luke? Yes, Mr. Layton. Let's keep in mind that one cannot overcome fear by feeding it. And you are very lucky, considering that you have friends here to help you overcome your fear. I, I suppose that's true. I'm frightened too, but we can't get distracted. Now, let's go see what the Spectre is all about. I can see a huge shadow heading towards the Great LA Street. Let's go! It's nice to see where all this came to be, because Leighton and Luke's friendship was definitely a focal point of the previous game, and to see where it all stemmed from is really heartwarming to see just... That's something that Leighton would do for anyone, let's be real here, but just seeing how he's he's fully aware that he's the only one that Luke is willing to trust in this moment in time, and he wants to make sure he doesn't uh, abuse that trust, and he's just making sure Luke knows that he's not alone in this situation. And it's a very grim situation right now. Not the hat shop! That's a distressing sight indeed. How awful for Mr. Brown. So yeah, any of these places that might have had puzzles or hint coins in them, they're completely gone now. I don't think there's any way we're going to be getting those anytime soon. Professor, we lost the spectre! Strange. The fog is very thick. However, we should still be able to see something that large. Maybe it dove into the canal. Huh? What's that? What's what, Emmy? Professor, over there! Something is glowing over there! I can't see through this fog. I have a bad feeling about this. Hmm? That sound. It's a flute. 
but where is it coming from? It sounds like it's close, but... Hmm, I don't see anyone else here. It's faint now, but I still hear it. We must follow it, quickly! It sounds like it's coming from... Over there, in the park! Let's hurry, we don't want to miss any possible clues. Uh, hopefully I know where the park is, is it this way? You're still here somehow. Excuse me, sir, have you heard anyone playing music around here? Was there? Oh, the Spectre's gonna be on Grey Delay Street tonight. You folks should run. I'm running. See? Look at me run! Yes, I know, but you have, have you heard any music coming from this area? You say the news is scaring you? That Spectre's what you should be afraid of, boy. Have you seen Brock's house? That Spectre's out of control. He can't tell us anything about the music. Let's go, Mr. Layton. Okay, as expected. Oh man, they get the mouse! Still not sure what we can do with those, but I doubt that's of importance right now. Hmm, I don't see anyone playing a flute anywhere around here. I didn't see any suspicious anything sp Bleah! I didn't see anyone suspicious along the way either. Nothing on Pike Lane, nothing on Great LA Street. Let's keep going. Guess we'll just keep on retracing our steps until we eventually find something. If we find something. And we're already back where we started. Uh, we could go this way. Uh, you're here. I heard a wind instrument. I can't say if it was a flute or an oboe. I appreciate your attempt at musical precision. Can you say which direction it came from? I could, but I don't know how accurate I'd be. It was loud, though, and had an echo to it. An echo? It sounded like it was coming from all directions. I found it rather unsettling, to be honest. There's that music again. It's coming from over there. Oh no, wait, over there, I think. Yes, there is a strange echo that makes it difficult to locate the source. Could that really be the Spectre's flute? Perhaps tonight we will uncover the music's origins. Let's follow it. Really? You're going to go crashing around the town just as chaotically as the Spectre? Seems like it. Let's keep going. I thought the music was coming from here, but I'm not so sure now. The Spectre's Flute. It must be the Spectre's Flute. The Spectre's Flute? What is that? The legend of the Spectre is Miss Thalery's oldest tale. Long ago, the villagers used a flute to call upon the Spectre to protect them from invaders. So, if the Spectre does the bidding of whoever plays the flute, then someone is trying to destroy Miss Thalery. Luke, is that what you meant when you said the world was ending? Yes, it's all in the legend. If the spectre is ever used for impure motives, it shall unleash its wrath upon humanity. It will destroy all in its path, creating its own paradise. That's terrifying. So that's why you were so scared. Of course that's why. The Spectre is bent on total destruction. Well, sure, I mean, that's what monsters do, right? But there's something weird about all this. Weird doesn't begin to describe it, Emmy. You saw the Spectre! I know that I saw something, but I don't know what I saw was the Spectre from this legend. All we know right now is that there is a Spectre in Miss Thalery. Yes, there is definitely a very large and very angry something attacking this village. That was the Spectre! Why don't you believe me? Luke, I believed your letter when I came here. I believed you when you said the Spectre would appear. So why won't you believe me now? We all saw the Spectre, but now we need to unearth its origin. This is quite a puzzle here. We must examine all facets thoroughly before we come to any conclusions. But we lost the Spectre. Do we just wait for it to appear again? Not at all. Let's take a look at what we already know. 
But now, we have plenty of clues concerning the Spectre's true nature right before us. We do? Of course we do, Luke. Um, tell him, Professor. Well, did anyone see the feet of the Spectre? I did not. It seems that it likes to conceal itself in water. The canals? Precisely, the Spectre left no footprints behind, despite its size. And the path the Spectre took through town is now soaking wet. I hadn't even noticed that. And then there is the matter of that sound. That must have been the Spectre's flute, Professor. No, there was something else. When the Spectre appeared, I heard a strange grunting, growling noise. Grunting? Growling? Noise. Oh my god, he said it! Yes, I can't yet make any certain conclusions about what we saw or heard. We still need more information. The biggest clue that we have right now is that music. I heard something about an old antique flute that was recently auctioned off in the black market. Why do you know about the black market, Luke? And what? You think the you think that might be the Spectre's flute? Maybe. I don't know. We should trust Luke's instincts on this one. It's definitely worth investigating this black market. It is the best lead we have, even if it is our only lead. But right now, it's getting late. Let's return to the hotel and start fresh in the morning. Music flute. Flute, music, whatever. The sound of a flute could be heard throughout the town, despite no sign of anyone playing it. What causes this curious phenomenon? Even when the spectre is far away, the sound of the flute is still audible. How strange. And I guess that's going to be it for now. We finally got a look at this legendary spectre. What exactly it is, though, we have yet to see. And I'm sure it will not be an easy task to track it down. But we're going to give it everything we've got. Next time on Professor Layton and the Last Spectre, we are going to inspect. Okay, this is Midnight and Beyond, and I'll see you all later. Good night.